Hi, so this tutorial will be a continuation of previous tutorial where we managed to uh, edit uh, Doom binary uh, in Hex Editor, replace some instructions and make sure that uh, we can, for example, fix uh, ammo even when we should. So in this case we get infinite ammo level. Um, this time we can try and do something more complicated. So for example, each time we shoot we can uh, not only increase ammunition, but also increase health level. Uh, this will require some tricks uh, to be done. Uh, this is just one step uh, a bit harder, uh, but not too hard to implement. Uh, so we'll partition it into two parts. Uh, first part will just uh, we'll make sure that we have enough space to allocate instructions to do different things. Um, I'll, let me explain. So. Uh, right now we know that uh, our binary is uh, where we sh when we shoot uh, this part of code executes sequentially. Uh, we can of course edit this part which we did. Uh, we replaced it with two knobs, so we had uh, 1990, which is uh, just two knob uh, operations sequentially. Uh, so we can do something more here, uh, but uh, we have quite limited space in binary. So what we can do now is uh, we can try and explore how we can manage and find space in uh, executable uh, to have uh, some functionality injected here. So just an uh, example of functionality mentioned is increase health. So for example, we will need at least maybe 10 instructions, uh, 10 bytes, or maybe even more, depends on how far uh, health is uh, from ammunition. Uh, it belongs probably to different object to our hero, or maybe it belongs to same hero. We'll find out. Uh, so first thing to do is um, we already have a modified binary. So let's uh, open, make another copy of it, because we'll be editing it uh, a bit more deeper. So we have mutant two, which uh, now represents our second binary. Uh, the instruction has changed. This is uh, the place which we found before. It was uh, uh, we replaced uh, some instructions. I don't. Uh, I, th I think. Uh, uh, yeah, let's find uh, what we can find. What if this piece at least can be found? Search find and because we modified the binary. So uh, and again. I guess uh, yes, we found it. So here we inserted two knobs, 1990. I guess F6, uh, and uh, here it is. So this part was replaced. Uh, let's just make a copy of it, so we know that uh, this piece is now a new unique piece. Uh, basically, this is our old function uh, stream of instructions. So this is uh, original handle. Uh, Ammunition uh, weapon shot, right? Not necessarily everything here belongs to shooting, but uh, and uh, this is a new one uh, which we did in second mid end. So originally we had 0, 9, 10 here, it was increasing ammo each time we shoot, but uh, now we have 1990, which means that do not touch. So uh, we found it, uh, it is here. So, of course, uh, we can try doing something here, but we don't have enough space. So, imagine we have uh, we want to add something. So, for example, uh, like uh, one instruction to register EAX, and also imagine we want to add to um, let's say some pixel address. like this and then uh, increase health as well I don't know if it's correct list of instructions so figure out so if if we build this kind of uh, this amount of code we will see that it actually produces or uh, requires um, several more bytes let's see how many it's nine bytes we don't have nine bytes of space uh, because uh, we have only two. 
So we can sacrifice this subtract instruction and do something here. So it's clear that we need to sacrifice some other instructions, but if we do it, we will probably break uh, our uh, logic of application. Possibly we can easily sacrifice this thing if we don't touch uh, ammunition. But if we just want to do injection uh, of instructions into function handler, we need to sacrifice uh, some more instructions. So the idea is that we can uh, jump once we get to some specific point uh, in execution, like we started executing these instructions and we got to this point, uh, or maybe to this point, we can inject uh, jump instruction from here to some black hole location far away. Uh, we, we need to find out location where we need to jump and allocate some instructions there and then jump back uh, to this point uh, to continue execution of this function. And uh, between those jumps and return, we need to make sure that we don't touch uh, register state. So we need quite a uh, longer list of instructions, possibly maybe m slightly more bytes, because we also need space now for jump. So let me show how to insert, for example, what is our instruction budget, right? So if you want to jump, we have some label and uh, label jump away. Uh, it will be uh, jump to our injection. Uh, and there will be L injection starting at some address uh, as deeply offset as maybe, I don't know, it can be far away. So let's say this far we do some arithmetic operations here right and uh, deboard uh, and then we need to return back jump away so if we want this kind of instruction so this part will be inserted in in uh, this part of stream in initial stream possibly removing uh, let's uh, just isolate this part, sacrifice part, w which I think we can easily sacrifice. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven instructions. So, uh, let's see what is our budget for jump. I'll also place a uh, knob here so we can see it. where it ends. It will see 90 in stream. And then there will be next uh, injection, uh, slightly far away, like uh, maybe. 30,000 pages away, or maybe, wait, uh, well, some, some, some away, uh, some bits away. So, uh, let's just compile it and see how it still produces something like 20 bytes, but uh, let's see what is the output. So, we can see that our jump instruction until it uh, ended up to injection, so this jump of code. Uh, it requires uh, quite a lot of uh, space, so at least 5 bytes, I think. So one uh, code for jump instruction and uh, 4 more for sh address shift. Uh, jump is related to this uh, jump pointer, so it needs uh, a bit more uh, instructions. And then uh, after that we insert our add instruction. I didn't partition them into pieces, but here is clearly jump back by instructions. This is jump away, E9 again, E9, and this is jump address uh, offset. This is related to the jump, so it computes the area here, uh, value here, is either positive or negative uh, amount of uh, in, in program counter, where we need to jump away or, or not away. The program counter is here. Program counter is just address which is virtual address which CPU executes uh, instruction by instruction. So for example, when uh, CPU sees this opcode and executes this instruction, it increases program counter by two bytes, by two, and it knows that uh, next instruction will be here. But uh, when uh, CPU deco decoder decodes this instruction, he knows that this instruction will take slightly more. It, he knows it from opcode and 
um, extra data when whenever it's available, saying how, how long arguments are. So he will know that he needs to increase it by five. So uh, and uh, next and next. Uh, so we don't want to spend our efforts. That's why we use labels uh, in assembly, labels like this. So assembly will do computations for us. We can of course do it manually, but uh, we don't want to spend time on that. Uh, it's not very. It might be fun, but better not this time. So um, let's. Uh, we know that we need to sacrifice this part. Uh, so first thing to do is um, let's, uh, for example, we know we want uh, to jump somewhere, jump away. Uh, where we will insert our instructions. I will place knobs here uh, for convenience. Uh, I also will insert, uh, let's say, uh, like this. Uh, so just make sure that instructions are different. Uh, so uh, we have this we jump away, then we have our knob, then our in increase e register ax instruction, which is 14, and then uh, again our knobs and jump back. So for jump away, we need five instructions, five bytes, one, two, three, four, five. We need to insert them into instruction stream, starting somewhere from here. Uh, what uh, we have budget of seven instructions. Uh, so let's uh, do sacrificing a bit differently. So what I want to do in the beginning, I want to add a delimiter of knobs around uh, our injection, just for convenience uh, for now. So this will be knob, right? Knob. Let's uh, do it in assembly. So uh, we'll be able to remove everything here and move here. So we want uh, knob, then we want our injection. Uh, uh, like this. Then we want another knob. This will be exactly seven bytes, because it's clear that this one consumes five, and these two one byte each. So uh, we save it, build, and uh, let's uh, check again our mm, assembly result. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so it's clear that we can insert. We have exactly seven bytes here, I think. Yes, uh, we had this 90s uh, place. So uh, we know we, we need some sort of jump away. We don't know yet address. We, we will find it soon. Uh, but we know that we need uh, these instructions E9, FA, FF, FF. So what I will do is I just insert E9, uh, FF, 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 just to make sure that we jump somewhere. This is. Uh, relative jump address. This is probably a very large negative number. Uh, so, um, 32 bit negative number. So when we are able to complete it, we'll end up in some other lo location. Um, we can already edit instruction stream. So let's see what happens. Uh, it just, it also will uh, help us to understand how, uh, how difficult our editing is. So we have 0600 and uh, 8b something, 8b96, d8, 0, 02, uh, 00, and then 00. zero. I will insert ff, seven ffs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is clear that this is the area of instructions which we want to replace. We want uh, our knobs to be around, so this will be clear that these are knobs. And uh, we also want some jump, uh, let's say in line. I guess this will produce infinite loop, possibly, uh, but uh, might not matter in our case. Let's just start it. Uh, I will show uh, also example how to debug such things. So uh, we start the game. It might hang now uh, when we should. Yeah. Uh, so it didn't hang. It probably has some uh, handler. But uh, yeah, this is not really helping us. Uh, probably uh, incorrect instruction of code or something like that. Probably not, but uh, something here was not correct. Uh, or maybe we jumped to incorrect instruction. So 
how do we debug such things and how do we know where we are allowed to jump uh, it is uh, kind of relatively clear so uh, let's uh, first uh, go we kind of remember uh, what kind of instruction string we have here so I need to edit this part uh, our new handler will look slightly already our code already it looks slightly different because we modified it so just to make sure that we can edit and return back to it I will uh, return it to the shape where it which it was uh, before so we edited these two things we added uh, ff here and uh, here and also we added uh, uh, a code here which is e9 and also we added uh, code 90 which is nop here uh, if we replace everything with nops here uh, let's just uh, uh, let's better note it now but uh, we remember that uh, we edited uh, this part so all this was edited yeah uh, this part is uh, our injection code which will jump away and uh, then real injection code where we jump jump into will be placed uh, far away so now we need to find home for our jump away instruction uh, yeah uh, let's uh, let's go and uh, open our binary windows wide we need to find some area in binary where we can put instructions where we jump into from this area but how do we know if uh, some piece is used or not well maybe there are some kind of advanced tools but for this specific case and for many others uh, there are usually some alignment bits placed in, eight in um, end of page uh, code is divided by pages which is four, ki four kilobytes so sometimes we have a li long list of zeros in the end those are just padding bits we can just find them if we look for long enough zero array I will look for something like this and possibly that's the code where we can which we can use I don't know how many bits we will have but we'll usually have have them so here we can see that we have quite a long list but maybe not long enough uh, and it, but it's yeah of course it's in the beginning of program this part we can we should not use because uh, this is header so if we modify header we may might damage something uh, so let's uh, switch a bit far away so I want to find this part and starting from this let's jump positive direction so uh, let's find again this part so this is our code which we edited and starting from this let's find not from beginning but from cursor uh, we look for long list of zeros so long list of zeros and next uh, zero instance will be what we want so this looks uh, not too bad I would say uh, let's see if it's really alignment uh, page alignment thingy so we have address which is 2 B E E D 2 I don't know something but here we have addresses in the end which is uh, let's look here B E F F and then F yes it looks very much like alignment so like last F F and then new thing starts from 8 B which is indeed looks like uh, alignment thingy so uh, this is a new page start and it was not too far away well it was like we were somewhere here and then we skipped uh, I don't know binary is about 4 megabytes or how large it is it is about uh, 3 megabytes so we skipped something like 2 megabytes or maybe around um, it's lots of pages maybe 20,000 pages but yeah still might be executable part of code so what we want is let's verify if this part of code is executable what i want to do is uh, or what would be nice to recommend in this case uh, let's start our code where we inject we can of course try using these zeros i don't i wouldn't recommend to use uh, here let's uh, try uh, using from some round address so why not use for example beef okay uh, so we can use beef um, two beef zero <laughs> and uh, let's uh, jump into this two beef zero 
this will be our injection point and let's return somewhere from here so we can kind of preserve long list of instructions uh, I don't know uh, I will probably uh, let's uh, see so our address is where we start from so uh, injection code starts at 0 x 2 B E E F 0 uh, let's copy it uh, to our assembly immediately so we know that uh, our injection code begins here 0 fork means that our address uh, base of program counter starts here so this is our injection point we'll jump into here and uh, let's uh, do lots of knobs here uh, by the way I don't know how uh, carefully insert things here so I will just uh, need to type by keyboard uh, those things but I will not type too much just maybe 10 bytes so we'll insert some knobs here nope. uh, yeah and then uh, jump away right jump uh, jump away and uh, return back right this is the place when we want to return uh, starts immediately after injection point so we know when we want to return I can of course insert for here just to be careful so uh, this part we will find even uh, when we want to look for address uh, let's uh, take a look uh, for our part again and see make sure we need to find out so here we kind of uh, do nothing but he starting from here we jump away uh, we need to make sure that our code is correctly placed that uh, we need to find uh, offset of this thing in our hex uh, assuming all pages are aligned linearly but I hope they are because uh, executable probably will be loaded sequentially uh, unless it has some different sections and uh, something strange down to it or probably untypical for this application so um, let's uh, find this part we want to see where it begins so we search find and uh, this part from beginning so yeah we can see it f6 so f6 uh, is the code where we will return uh, that just to clarify it's exactly this part of code this is injection and here we need to continue our operations so our injection should be done here and we return to this point because exactly all this part it goes away and it executes uh, injection code so we return to this address we know this is uh, we, we can see some address here from debugger this is just the virtual address it might not uh, correspond, it will not usually correspond to what we see here, I think. But uh, uh, we will see that uh, those addresses, of course, are relative. We, we can figure out. So we'll, we'll find out if we jump it to correct address or not. Uh, so um, starting from here, we know that F6, instruction where we want to jump into from our injection code, from where we return from our black hole, is... Um, 12 c 7 f 4 so let's uh, write it 0 12 c 7 f 4 and uh, this is where we return back uh, let's insert some knobs here um, uh, I would like to insert some other codes because it's uh, it might get slightly difficult to distinguish so one of the nice of, co of codes uh, which is also distinguishable, knob is easily distinguishable and uh, another one is cc which is interrupt 3 I will explain, it's quite useful, we'll use it so I, I will insert, uh, uh, I cannot use it here but yeah, how can I, I can uh, so we want to insert a jump away instruction we also need to find out where this part starts so uh, let's see, this is 90 and it begins at 12 c7 ed so I will just write it 0, 12, uh, C7, AD, uh, H, of course. So and here, H. So from this, uh, we don't need this, it's not label. So from this part, we execute code here, this part 90. It executes something here, uh, exactly this. 
we want to remove this part, but later, doesn't matter. So uh, we will see some CC, we know that uh, the cool speaking is later, but yeah, I will see 90, so maybe 190, yeah, okay, just, I don't even know what that, no, that's what this for visibility, so it will be a bit clearer than, than we will see nine, uh, CC, then 90, then CC again, and our injection code, would be nice, by the way, to partition it into three programs, but we might be slightly lazy to do that now. So from this part, or maybe not too lazy. Uh, so from this part, yeah, okay. Uh, just let's keep it like it is. From this part, we jump away to our injection code. We execute some garbage, and then we return back uh, to our location. Uh, this part we already suspect, which is a good home for our injection code. Let's also not forget about uh, which instructions we sacrificed. So we sacrifice these instructions. We need to return them back. Th they need to be uh, placed back. So, uh, but they don't have place in their original home location. Uh, we will need to insert them into injection code. So uh, let's return them. Uh, I will rewrite them in flat assembler syntax. So this is just a zero x. I guess this is okay. It will automatically expand to 32 bit, uh, I guess, because of uh, this. Let's find out this instruction. And this, then, of course, this thingy. So uh, let's not subtract. Let's, uh, let's make sure that our armor increases by 3, OK? Uh, because it's just uh, a nice distinguish between what we edited before. It uh, did nothing and maybe not so visual. We want it to be visual. So each time we shoot, we will see that our ammunition increases by 3. Uh, bullets by three bullets right i'll write it in hex well there's no real need for that so we know that our bullets are still on in behind this address so because it was loaded and i hope we didn't uh, break anything right so uh, when we jump we don't touch other registers uh, they still uh, remain at their original um, values so everything should be fine we will be able to insert this code into required places. This part we al almost inserted, except that we don't need this part. Uh, let me maybe sacrifice like this. This will be much more convenient. We will see jump away, and then we'll see code CC, and then we'll see nop, and we'll be able to partition it into small, smaller, nice pieces. And uh, let's just uh, build it now and see how it compiles, what it produces. And uh, then we will start moving this code, pieces of this compiled code in our output to binary. Let's go. So, uh, yeah, I have my compilation uh, assembly built. Make. It didn't produce uh, any errors, 27 bytes. Let's see at our opcodes. Yeah, so this is nice code. Uh, we see our knob here which is 90 and then we see our jump away which is five bytes one two three four more this is uh, where it jumps away and then we see our interrupt three uh, which is special instruction that's uh, very useful we'll use it uh, and i will explain why uh, and uh, also we see our next knob which is here which is completely different piece of code uh, this is uh, we don't really need this part we just uh, used it for random purposes. Actually, we can remove it, but it's nice to insert it back, uh, keep it here for visibility. And this part will be going completely away, we don't need this two instructions. And starting from here, this will what we need to insert into, into our injection code. So uh, parts here will be, let's see, um, CC is uh, interrupt 3 and then uh, here goes strings of our instructions so this is add ex and i guess this is 294 uh, this is 294 and this is just zeros of uh, 32 bit value then we have another add uh, ex and uh, by memory uh, and uh, three uh, bullets 16 bit adding uh, i guess and then we have lots of knobs which we want to use for future use. Doesn't look like much space, I would say. 
let's maybe use more or a few more maps yeah and then we jump back uh, from here to this location we cannot just add knobs here like 90s and move this instruction away because relative uh, jump uh, value will change so we need to jump to this code which means uh, to this address we need to add some other 32 bit address positive value when we subtract we add large positive value we can think and then it will overflow to some uh, previous value uh, the way how uh, subtraction works so um, and then instruction stream will continue all from well let's say from this point where we don't care but we won't replace anything for after after this part uh, which is uh, f6 we won't touch we return to this point but we don't touch this instruction stream we touch only this this, this. Uh, so starting from this 90 and to this we'll replace it to something useful so uh, yeah we have probably enough knobs for now if it, it won't be enough yeah, but, uh, that's okay maybe it should be enough i don't know how much that is but it should be fine uh, let's uh, make it again uh, so it's just nice to remember that here we had e9 f2 uh, v e9 means jump away but this thing will change now f2 d9 e6 ff it should change so we reload it i hope reload and uh, d8 so it changed i think uh, it should change uh, so um, yeah, something changed in this address. So now we have instruction stream. Let's just inject it back to our donor. Uh, this is our donor code part. Uh, this part we don't need. So I will make F FFs here. Just uh, they're a bit more visual. I don't even know what to add here. Maybe zeros, maybe FFs are just like good to know that they're visible, strictly visible. Uh, so let's uh, insert back let's uh, reduce window size so we have enough uh, area so this is our 90 e9 then we have fd then we have uh, 26 uh, 19 00 and then we have cc we don't need cc now we need knob for now i will explain why we need cc later uh, and uh, now we have these instructions which we skip and this stream of instructions should go into that injection part which will automatically uh, execute all the stuff we skipped because we removed these instructions which were here and we'll return back to this f6 so from here it jumps actually from here it jumps away this 90 will never be executed because it jumps away from here and uh, 90 is skipped and we return to f6 so this is just garbage we'll place anything here so it's okay to keep cc here but let's skip no so uh, uh, let's uh, go to that address we know where it is so it is this thing uh, injection code in our hex editor so address go to and uh, the thing we need absolute and here it is zeros and there we need to insert our rest uh, of the things it's 0, 05 we don't want to just copy paste this thing here because we don't want the uh, binary to be shifted if it's shifted then everything will be broken all relative addresses will be destroyed and application will crash so uh, we want it to be carefully added uh, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 83 uh, 0, 0, 0, 3 and then 9 and then we need to be careful with number of 90s so I, I counted 16 knobs let's just confirm 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 14, 15, 16. Okay, good. And uh, now in nine, which is jump back to our uh, return point, e7, d8, e6, ff. 
Uh, here we can insert any garbage, like CC. It will interrupt uh, our CPU uh, and uh, will break it into debugger. If debugger is not attached, it will crash application, usually. Uh, or will uh, recommend you to launch debugger to debug it. But uh, in our case, uh, it should be fine. So let's uh, save it and see if it still works. Because if our application doesn't work, then we don't uh, need it, right? If we broke too much. Uh, at least it runs. Let's just make shooting. and uh, Because it can run, of course, correctly. Uh, one of the reasons why it might not run is because all these zeros are essentially important. Uh, or these zeros are part of data. It depends, of course. I don't think it's part of data, but uh, let's see. We can shoot and our ammo increases, so that's a, a good sign. It, will, it means that we were able to return, so it basically means that we were able to execute part we wanted, like uh, this stream of instructions. We executed this stream of instructions, then we jumped away to some far away location where we inserted our injection code. From there we were able to uh, execute these instructions because otherwise our weapons would not be loaded correctly. We increased our ammunition by 3 and then we returned back to our instruction stream which we wanted without damaging registers or damaging flags or anything. So this is correct. Actually this is a risky point when we... this is test, right? But we returned before test, so test will set flags and jump equal will test for flags. Some instructions damage flags like some arithmetic instructions or something else so we don't want uh, we want to be careful but so there should be some sort of care taken about where we jump from and where ju we jump back uh, sometimes we could potentially sacrifice we didn't, if we didn't have enough space here we could sacrifice some other pieces like jump a few instructions more ahead uh, then do something here and sacrifice entire stream or maybe sacrifice large part of uh, stream somewhere else but let's uh, this is uh, what we have for now our application works let's see how it works in debugger so before we uh, go to second part which will be probably in separate video because it's getting a bit long uh, so uh, where we actually will increase uh, in our injection code will increase uh, our life each time we shoot uh, let's uh, just make sure that we understand how it executes to do that uh, it's quite easy because we can open debugger we don't need any execution breakpoint now we have other sort of uh, debug facility which is just nice to show so here we have 90 uh, I will uh, close uh, Doom instance now because we need to reload binary anyways I will save it as different executable so it, let, let's call it uh, mutant 3 because it will be debuggable right uh, let's say debug right uh, and uh, now it's debug version and I will insert CC here which is interrupt uh, it means once CPU sees this instruction it calls interrupt 3 uh, I'm not sure yeah this is uh, debug interrupt it will call debugger if debugger is present then we will see exactly it stops exactly after this instruction executes so let's uh, save our binary then we can start safety game again we start it and we can see that uh, our game still works, which is okay. If I shoot now, there will be a problem, because the bugger is not attached. So let's just see that it crashes. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, absolutely fine to do application for crash now. But let's start it again. It's fast, so we can afford it. I'm not sure which difficulty level I pick, but uh, should be fine. Shouldn't uh, matter for debugging. So debug, uh, start and attach. We attach again to our process. And now we can uh, shoot. Uh, yeah, let's uh, release uh, the bug. So yeah, should be fine. We can walk. Our difficulty uh, and speed is not affected by the bugger now. We don't have any soft breakpoint or something. Let's just and now we will have soft breakpoint, which is CC. So let's uh, shoot. And now we break into code. So we see that uh, our as you can see, disassembly is not correct here. It should be nop uh, or interrupt three. It uh, was not able to disassemble for some reason correctly, but doesn't matter because CC worked correctly. Uh, so we stopped directly before we execute jump away instruction. Now we will be able to 
see where it goes we have this go into right step into i hope it works so we see where we jump we can see that 6d0 is we still see beef part but uh, the offset is, is different virtual address offset so we add uh, some stuff here which we had cut from original part before this add is still here this subtraction was replaced by addition so still fine and then we have several knobs which will replace in future and this is our space for doing nothing and here we have uh, jump next uh, jump back instruction so let's just quickly i will put uh, i don't want to skip all these knobs let's just do one instruction at a time and then we do all the knobs we don't skip with them right so let's return to this point and then skip two knobs let's continue and we can continue and uh, one another knob, one, one more knob and then this is jump instruction it will lead us back uh, this thing shows uh, relative address already virtual address so it knows we can open memory editor and we will see instructions which we want uh, in memory editor where we return into so we just uh, do one more instruction and we see that we return to instruction which we wanted so our injection basically works correctly it's nothing no magic we don't do any extra stuff and uh, this uh, injection doesn't sacrifice too much performance for cpu uh, this jump is of course expensive uh, because it will be page miss but uh, it will be instruction cache miss and uh, all the stuff but uh, CPUs have quite good prediction algorithms they should be able to uh, in some time uh, like first uh, interruption will be expensive but others will not so this is not too expensive it's just nothing uh, compared to executable uh, amount of instruction spent uh, so let's uh, say we finished first part of injection and next time we will uh, inject inject uh, some useful instructions here possibly something affecting our, our either shield or armor i guess it would be nice to insert some checks that we don't go about maybe 600 health or 700 health because it's too much uh, but uh, or maybe not much health is never much right so we can just uh, continue it later so thanks a lot for watching and uh, yeah good luck